Welcome to Health U. In August 2025, Harvard Medical School published groundbreaking research in the prestigious journal Nature. Alzheimer's disease patients have deficient lithium levels in their brains, and supplementing with lithium orotate can reverse memory loss in mice. Could this be the cure for Alzheimer's disease? Today, we'll dive deep into this breakthrough research and explore how you can safely incorporate lithium into your diet. Let's first look at what this study actually discovered. In August 2025, a research team from Harvard Medical School and Massachusetts General Hospital published a breakthrough study in the top-tier scientific journal Nature. They analyzed brain tissue from Alzheimer's disease patients and those with mild cognitive impairment, testing for various metal elements. The results were surprising. Among all the metal elements analyzed, only lithium was significantly reduced in the brains of patients with mild cognitive impairment. More specifically, researchers found that Alzheimer's disease patients had noticeably lower natural lithium levels in the prefrontal cortex, the brain region responsible for higher cognitive functions compared to healthy individuals. This was the first study to discover such a direct link between the deficiency of a specific metal element and Alzheimer's disease. So why do Alzheimer's patients have reduced lithium in their brains? The research team explored the underlying mechanism and discovered a shocking fact. Lithium is being depleted by binding to toxic amyloid plaques. Amyloid plaques are one of the characteristic pathological changes in Alzheimer's disease. These toxic protein clumps accumulate in the brain, causing nerve cell damage. Now scientists have discovered that these plaques essentially hijack the brain's lithium, leading to lithium deficiency. The research shows that when brain lithium lev, LS drop by about 50%, it triggers a cascade of pathological changes. First, amyloid beta deposition significantly increases. Second, another toxic protein, phosphorylated tau protein accumulates. Third, pro-inflammatory microglia become activated, causing brain inflammation. Fourth, synapses, axons, and myelin are lost, all structures essential for normal nerve cell function. And finally, cognitive function accelerates its decline. This discovery reveals a potential new origin mechanism for Alzheimer's disease. Previously, we thought amyloid plaques were the cause of Alzheimer's, but now it appears that lithium deficiency might be an earlier problem, with plaque accumulation being one consequence of lithium deficiency. This represents a major shift in our understanding of Alzheimer's disease. Even more exciting is that the research team didn't just identify the problem, they found a potential solution. They used a special lithium compound, lithium orotate, to treat mice with Alzheimer's disease. The results were remarkable. In animal studies, lithium orotate demonstrated the following therapeutic effects. First, it reversed the pathological changes of Alzheimer's disease, including reducing amyloid plaques and tau protein tangles. Second, it prevented brain cell damage. And third, most importantly, it restored memory function in mice. The research also found that low doses of lithium orotate could prevent synaptic loss and reverse cognitive decline in aging mice. Crucially, long-term treatment showed no signs of toxicity. The significance of this research is tremendous. It's not just about finding a new treatment. More importantly, it changes our understanding of Alzheimer's disease. We used to view Alzheimer's as a protein misfolding disease, but now we've discovered that lithium deficiency might be a more fundamental cause. This means Alzheimer's disease could be a priva, end-table nutritional deficiency disease, at least partially. Now let's discuss the difference between lithium orotate and prescription lithium carbonate. Many people, when they hear the word lithium, might think of lithium carbonate, the prescription drug used to treat bipolar disorder. But lithium orotate and lithium carbonate are different. Lithium carbonate is a prescription medication used to treat bipolar disorder. With doses around 1,000 mg per day, it requires a physician's prescription and regular monitoring of blood lithium levels as high doses of lithium can affect kidney function, thyroid function, and have other notable side effects. In contrast, lithium orotate comes in health supplement form and doesn't require a prescription. The dosage is much lower, typically only 5 to 20 milligrams of elemental lithium per day. Research shows that lithium orotate more easily penetrates the blood-brain barrier, meaning it can enter the brain and take effect more readily. Due to the lower dosage, the risk of side effects is also lower. However, it's important to note that lithium orotate is not FDA approved for treating any medical condition. It's sold in the market as a dietary supplement. So is lithium orotate safe? Based on available data, lithium orotate has been sold as a health supplement for decades with very few adverse event reports. There are no reports of deaths or serious side effects. Preliminary research suggests that low dose use is safe, 
but there are some caveats. First, there's currently a lack of large-scale clinical safety studies. Second, in 2021, there was one case report of an 18-year-old woman who developed mild acute lithium toxicity from overdose. She took 2.16 grams of lithium orotate at once, which is over 100 times the normal dose. Third, there isn't yet sufficient clinical evidence to support specific dosage recommendations. So, while lithium orotate has shown remarkable efficacy in animal studies, we still need to be cautious when it comes to human use. The Harvard research team specifically emphasizes that before formally recommending lithium orotate, they need to determine the effective dosage range for humans, the upper safety limit, the safety of long-term use, and response variations among different populations. The good news is that the research team plans to begin human clinical trials of lithium orotate in the near future. So what should we do before clinical trial results are available? Let's talk about how to obtain lithium through natural diet. Lithium is a metal element present in our daily diet, primarily from grains and vegetables. Lithium-containing foods include nuts, especially pistachios, tomatoes and mushrooms, herbs like thyme, egg yolks, kelp and sardines, and black tea. It's important to note that the lithium content in food depends on the lithium content in the soil, so there's significant regional variation. Some regions have soil naturally rich in lithium and vegetables and grains grown there will contain more lithium. It's estimated that the average American's daily intake from food and water is about 0.5 to 3 milligrams. While this amount isn't large, it may provide some protection for brain health. In fact, some epidemiological studies have found that areas with higher natural lithium levels in drinking water have lower rates of suicide and dementia. If considering lithium supplementation through health supplements, Commercial lithium orotate products typically contain 5 mg of elemental lithium per capsule. The actual dosage range varies widely. For general maintenance, you might only need 0.3 to 0.6 mg, usually using ionic or plant-derived lithium. For mild cognitive support, you might use 5 to 20 mg of lithium orotate. For serious PI, psychiatric or neurological conditions, 5 mg or more might be needed, but this should definitely be done under medical supervision. If you're considering purchasing lithium orotate supplements, here are some important points. First, choose products with third-party testing certification to ensure quality. Second, pay attention to the elemental lithium content, not the total weight of the compound. Third, verify the product's purity and the manufacturer's reputation. Fourth, in the U.S. market, there are multiple brands available, such as Doublewood Supplements and others. However, before starting supplementation, I strongly recommend consulting with a physician or nutritionist, especially if you have any of the following conditions, kidney problems, thyroid disease, are taking other medications, or are pregnant or breastfeeding. Even if you decide to supplement, it's advisable to start with a low dose, such as 5 mg or less, carefully monitor your body's response, and regularly follow up with evaluations. It's worth emphasizing that lithium supplementation is just one strategy for preventing Alzheimer's disease and should not replace other known effective prevention methods. We should combine it with other scientifically validated brain health strategies, including adopting a Mediterranean diet with plenty of vegetables, fruits, whole grains, olive oil, and fish, regular exercise, at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity activity per week, ensuring adequate sleep seven to nine hours per night, engaging in cognitive training to keep the brain active, maintaining rich social interactions, and controlling cardiovascular risk factors, including high blood pressure, diabetes, and high cholesterol. These methods all have substantial scientific evidence supporting their effectiveness in preventing Alzheimer's disease and other forms of dementia. Lithium supplementation should be an additional measure on top of these foundations, not a replacement. Let's look at the broader scientific evidence. A systematic review and meta-analysis published in Science Direct in 2024 examined the disease-modifying role of lithium in Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. This comprehensive analysis of multiple studies found that lithium may have neuroprotective effects but also emphasized the need for more high-quality clinical research. This reminds us that while animal study results are very encouraging, there's still a distance between animal experiments and human application. Scientific research takes time, and we need to wait for more evidence, particularly results from large-scale human clinical trials. Let me summarize today's content. The link between lithium deficiency and Alzheimer's disease is one of the most exciting neuroscience discoveries in recent years. 
Harvard Medical School's research shows that Alzheimer's patients have significantly reduced lithium levels in their brains, and this deficiency may be one of the fundamental causes of the disease. Lithium orotate has demonstrated remarkable ability to reverse cognitive decline in animal studies, including clearing brain plaques and restoring memory function, with effectiveness at low doses and no toxicity from long-term use. This brings new hope for future Alzheimer's disease treatment. But until human clinical trial results are available, we still need to be cautious. Any decision to supplement with lithium should be carefully evaluated and done under the guidance of medical professionals. What we can safely do now is increase our intake of lithium-containing foods through natural diet. Eating more nuts, vegetables, and grains, these are safe and feasible first steps. At the same time, continue practicing other proven effective brain health strategies, Mediterranean and diet, regular exercise, adequate sleep, cognitive training, social interaction, and controlling cardiovascular risk factors. Providing comprehensive protection for your brain is the most prudent approach. Science is advancing, and our understanding of Alzheimer's disease continues to deepen. The discovery of lithium has opened a new door, but there's still much unknown waiting to be explored behind that door. Let's stay informed, but also stay rational. Prevention is better than cure, and the best prevention starts now by investing in your brain health. Thank you for watching Health You today. If you're interested in this topic, please subscribe to our channel. We'll continue to bring you the latest health science information. Remember, any health decisions should be made in consultation with medical professionals. See you next time.